Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to take a look at the Nevada uh, Test and Training Range, the NTTR. Uh, this is uh, the map for DCS World that can be purchased separately. And uh, it covers a pretty big area. If we jump into the mission editor, let's see if I can find a mission here that I was fooling with. That's Mirage 2000. This is just one I was fooling around with, but it'll give me a pretty big picture of what's going on here. So let's zoom out. So this was just a quick mission that I created for funsies to play around with the Mirage 2000 and test my frame rate in a different video. But this is the entire map, and it encompasses a pretty big area. So you've got Mina Airport, you've got Tonopah, and this is the Tonopah test range. This is where I've kind of created a... Uh, test range of my own. I take off from here and there's this little area right here that I've lined up a bunch of tanks and ground targets to basically chuck missiles and bombs and rockets and all that fun stuff at down here. But this is pretty far above your main area that you see most of the time when people are looking at this stuff. Now you got the Nellis Air Force Base, North Las Vegas, McCarran International, and then I believe over here You've got the Hoover Dam. So most of the time when you see people doing videos of NTTR, it's usually this just little area right here. But there's so much more to it. It's a, just a massive map, you know. Creech Air Force Base. A lot of the uh, instant action missions take place at the ranges at Creech. So it's a, a decent size map. And what I like about it is, is I think the terrain in this looks even nicer than the Persian Gulf. But, again, that's a matter of opinion. So let's take a look here, under Instant Action, at all the different missions you get if you own the Nevada map. So, A-10C, Cold Start, Takeoff, Free Flight, Landing, Vegas Tour, Weapons Practice, and CAS. AJS-37, Nevada Cold Start. They only give you one, but, you know, it's the Vigan. Don't expect a lot from the Vigan in, Ve in Vegas. However, they are giving away... Heatler will be giving away the campaign, uh, Red Flag campaign, that's a paid campaign, really soon to all owners of the Vigan that takes place over Nevada. So there will be that coming. AV-8B, air-to-air -air gun and sidewinder air-to-ground gun and rockets, airfield takeoff and navigation, VFR landing, cold and dark, conventional bombing, free flight, and ready on the ramp. Let's take a look at conventional bombing. That's always a fun one. Always one of the fun ones, too. Absolutely love the Harrier. Arm, stores page, Mark 82s. And that should be that. <laughs> Air to ground mode, duh. So right away you'll notice the desert scenery looks rather nice. Oh, wrong button. And there's a shit ton of targets down here. I don't even know where to begin, there's so many. Let's drop them on the transports. But this is just one of the many cool test ranges you'll find throughout. Pull up, pull up. Kablooey. Nice hit.
and it just feels natural to be out in the desert practicing, you know? And the Harrier's just an air-to-ground monster. So much fun. By far one of my favorite modules, for sure, for DCS World. jump back. F-16C. There is a shit ton of missions for the F-16C. It's pretty cool. Let's go AIM-9X. That's always a fun one. So this is the... Uh, actually, I just made a video of this recently, I think. But it's always fun to do this. Jump in here, turn on the helmet-mounted sight, kick this thing into bore sight mode, on cage. Their combat training airspace is located as pretty. So an aircraft is circling at different altitudes while practicing. We're already in 9x mode. Hit Boresight. Actually. Let's go to that guy. He's closer. That should be a nice hit. Bluey. Nice shot. He's a little bit further. I'll catch up to him a little bit, though. There's another one down here somewhere behind me. Yeah, that's that, that guy. But look at that terrain. we go. Three's a charm. Poof. Bye-bye. But the scenery just looks awesome. Absolutely love it. The F-16 really looks at home. And again, there's a ton of missions for the F-16 here. Awesome stuff. F-5, you get a few. It's the F-5, not one of my favorite, you know, modules, but you get the basic six. F-86, once again, the basic six. Let's see where the free flight takes us, though. I just got this module not long ago and really haven't done a lot with it yet. Wondering where the free flight takes us. Oh, it's this one. Where, like, you don't know you're going to start out and overshoot everybody. So that's pretty cool. I like that paint scheme. That's the uh, Las Vegas Motor Speedway behind us there. And we're heading into Vegas. And I believe below me is Nellis. Yeah, we're flying right over Nellis right now. See all the aggressors down there? Pretty neat cockpit. Over that way is um, Hoover Dam. And whatever that lake is called over there. 
I think that's the lake that uh, Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson made famous in that uh, adult video they made in the 90s that they made a big deal out of. Really cool scenery of downtown Vegas. And then off to that way is the big airport. I think that's McCarran. which is huge. So that is the F-86 over Vegas. F-14 Tomcat. This is absolutely my favorite plane ever. Let's do the free flight. This thing looks amazing. I think this is where the terrain really shines, you know? especially at altitude. A commercial airliner. Another commercial airliner. This is a C-130. It's like an A-10 practicing and doing its thing. Somewhere on the map. There's some Tomcats getting ready to take off. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like these guys are at... Are they at Nellis? Uh, I don't think they're at Nellis. an F-16 getting ready to take off. Hey, there's an F-117 doing its thing. You don't see these guys too often. Too bad they're just AI. There's a big dog. It's at a B-1. What are these guys doing here? That's interesting, huh? Apache. I wish this was in DCS, huh? The Huey. Another Huey. Flying over the scenery. Friendly, bra. 115, 19 miles. Angel 30. Yeah, from altitude, this just looks amazing. I 
Absolutely top top notch, man. For sure. Love it. So that is some of the scenery around the area of the Hoover Dam. F-18. I'm really surprised that they don't give you much for the F-18 on the instant action stuff. I like, really? Conventional bombing, free flight, flaming cliffs. There's a ton for the flaming cliff stuff, but I'm not really surprised by that. I mean, when you think about it, it's on, um, what, six aircraft? So, it's a decent number of missions. But again, it's nice to see that the FC-3 stuff gets a lot of love. It deserves it. This beast looks nice over this. Again, more really cool, sharply detailed um, desert scenery. And again, I think the mountains actually look nicer in Nevada versus what they look like in the Persian Gulf. Definitely makes for a nice backdrop. KA-50, here we go, Nevada Free Flight. The best way to really see any of these uh, ground details where they have cities and whatnot is usually to jump into a chopper. So this is where it'll start to look really good. I like that they took the time to really try to make these look like the landmarks, you know? You got that, I don't remember what that's called up there, the Needle or something hotel, and then you got like the Mirage, spelt M-U-R-A-G-E, and then Trom, T-R-O-M-B for Trump. And then that's like the MGM or something over there. And there's a lot of hustle and bustle. You see the cars kind of doing their own thing down here. There we go. Get control of this thing. This thing usually wants to fight me. Treasure Eland or Tresar Eland instead of Treasure Island. I think that's funny. Yeah, the Mirage M U R A G E. Harris. And this is kind of the Vegas Strip right here. 
I think that's the Caesar's Palace fountain, too. I don't know why that's not going off, though. That would be cool if they did that. Oh, that's the MGM right there. Got the pyramid and the Sphinx thing out front. Little tiny Washington monument looking thing. And over there is McCarran International. Mandalay Way instead of Mandalay Bay. <laughs> Pretty neat stuff. Alright, let's jump back. And Mirage 2000 bunch of missions for the Mirage. Pretty cool. Get into a free flight there. That looks amazing. Totally looks the part. Vegas down there to the right. I think that's Las Vegas Motor Speedway down there too. thing hauls ass. <coughs> it's pretty cool. Six ninety eight, six ninety nine, seven hundred. Nimble and super quick. Although it's funny, it doesn't seem like that when you're too high in the air, you know? Yeah, that is Las Vegas Motor Speedway down there. And then Nellis. Man, I wonder if this thing hits 800. I've never really pushed this thing that hard. I know the F or F15C can. It's like this guy stops at 766. Now, if I was at altitude and did a dive, I bet I can hit 800. Now, over here is Hoover Dam. I'm going to come out of burn. So that we might actually maneuver into this area. It's a really neat looking area right here.
really nice area. And at nighttime, it's all lit up really nice, too. Very cool stuff. That is the Mirage. MiG-21. There's a few missions for it. The standard six, it looks like. MI-8. Nothing but a cold start. Boring. This is an old module, so I'm not too surprised by that. P-51D. Cold start, takeoff, landing, free flight, and Vegas tour. <laughs> this is a pretty cool one. Um, there's a Vegas tour for the A-10C as well. What's nice about this mission is it gets you kind of familiar with the area. Let's jam the stick forward. Try to keep her in a straight line. These warbirds are squirrely. I think I raised my gear. Yeah, I did. So basically, objective here is fly through all the green hoops, which, number one, it'll get you better at the plane, it'll get you kind of familiar with the plane because you're flying through the hoops. And number two, it really is a tour of the Las Vegas map. So you hear WAGs talking from time to time telling you, you're just passing over this highway, which is near the Sunset Strip, blah, blah, blah. And then Las Vegas Motor Speedway is over to your left, blah, blah, blah. See? It's funny, you get a better sensation of flight. <coughs> We're on the strip now. You get a better sensation of flight in a helicopter or in a prop plane than you do in the jets in this. Unless you're close to the ground, then you can see things kind of swooping past you and it kind of conveys the sensation and the speed of flight much better. Stratosphere, that's what it is, not the needle. I said needle earlier, that's the stratosphere. The needle, I think, is in Washington State? Seattle? Yeah. I don't care about the hoops now. I'm going to jump out of this just to take this thing up and get a look at the area in a warbird. Really nice looking area. But again, if you follow these hoops around, I think about 13, 14, maybe 15 minutes, it'll take you around the whole area right here, this general area. And it'll familiar with you, familiarize you with the general area of Vegas. SA-342. Uh, this is another one that wants you to kind of fly through some hoops and stuff in the uh, Gazelle. Cold start static. Uh, Spitfire, same thing. Those same six missions with that same Vegas tour that you can do. SU-25, four missions. Not surprised. T-51, five missions. UH-1, free flight. Always love the Huey. I think out of all four modules, it's the one that I do tend to jump in the most. And uh, enjoy the most, actually. Although it's been a minute since I've flown it. <laughs> there we go. Just got to get that proper forward momentum before I let go of the pedals. They really captured the uh, the feel <laughs> of a uh, small 
town outside of the city too. Over there is Nellis, that's where we just took off from I believe. And then here's a highway leading into town. And you see all the little homes and whatnot. <laughs> Fantastic job there. I love the sound of the Hueys. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the sound of the Hueys rotors. How they they thump a little harder when you start to stress them. Sometimes that's pretty damn cool. And this will take you right into Vegas. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, wrong one. There we go. And A4, nothing. But I'm not surprised that there's nothing for the A4. Let's take a look at mission missions. So, A10C, nothing. Vigan, nothing. AV8B, nothing. F16, there's one. So they give you one mission for it. F5, nothing. F86, nothing. F14, one mission. It's like a time trial. Uh, I think it's going through hoops as well. Yeah, fly down the river from the Hoover Dam to a TV tower. <laughs> Remain over the river. F-18. Now, there's a ton of missions here for the F-18. Now, I seem to think that some of these that I've obtained were because I bought the Red Flag campaign. I could be wrong, because I did recently buy a red flag campaign for the F-18. But, as you see, these ones, the missile qualifications and weapon qualifications, those came with the F-18 and the Nevada map. I know that for a fact. <laughs> but the couple that are at the very top here, I'm not so sure about. Flaming Cliffs. A ton of missions. Rich with content. KA-50, nothing. Mirage, nothing. MiG-21, nothing. MI-8, nothing. P-51, nothing. Gazelle, nothing. Spitfire, nothing. SU-25, nothing. And UH-1, nothing. Didn't expect to get anything out of most of those, but the most feature-rich missions that you'll get are going to come from the F-18 and Flaming Cliffs out of the mission missions. Now let's go to campaign. So the majority of your campaigns in DCS World um, take place on the caucus map because it's the free map <laughs> and um, everybody has that that's why they usually do that however for instance uh, the Vigan they just gave us a new campaign for it that takes place over the Black Sea map however they're gonna give everybody <laughs> the red flag campaign for free F14 nothing F18 I do have the aggressors campaign that takes place this is the one I purchased that I had told you about I haven't flown any of the missions yet I've just jumped in here to look at it briefly but I did notice sitting on the uh, tarmac there has a pretty cool skin and there's voiceovers and whatnot. So the paid campaigns are usually really nice. See how I have a red over my name? See, I'm set up as the aggressor because I had red. Pretty cool stuff. Looking forward to giving this a shot.
I'm surprised these are sitting here with the wingtips up folded like that. They only do that when they're on a carrier, I thought. Seeing what else is in the air, if anything. Infield one one, request taxi to runway. Doesn't look like anything else is in the air yet. They're waiting for us to get up in the air is what it is, which is fine. But anyway, the only way to get campaigns for Nevada is to buy them. Uh, Flaming Cliffs, nothing except for the campaigns that you already get. Or wait a minute, I take that back. I purchased this Red Flag F-15 campaign as well. So this is one I had purchased as well. Uh, but none of the other ones have any unless you come here to the module mag manager, you go to available campaigns and you start scrolling and you're gonna find Mirage 2000 Red Flag Campaign 1199. These are usually like five, six bucks when they're on sale, so it's worth getting at that point. F-16 Aggressors BFM Campaign 999. This is usually five dollars, but this takes place on the Nevada map. The Vigan Red Flag Campaign. There's no price now, and it hits the buy button, but it won't take you anywhere. They they bought the rights to this heat blur did, and they're going to give it to everybody that owns the Vigan, which is really awesome. Now those who don't have the Nevada Campaign, it's not going to do any good, but you know. It's the thought that counts, and I have the Nevada campaign, so I'm looking thoroughly forward to it. F5E Aggressors Air Combat Maneuver Campaign, 999 for the Nevada map. Aggressors BFM Campaign for the Nevada map. There's an A10 one too, I thought. Yes, A10C 16-2 Red Flag Campaign, Nevada map. And I think that's it, but that goes to show that, you know, there's a lot of content for this. And uh, the majority of these missions are pretty cool. And um, again, you can always make your own. So if I go to Mission, I go to my missions, I think it's Vegas Vacation is the one that I've created my own little test grounds, I guess, for, you know, bomb range for testing air-to-ground stuff with all the different fighters that I own. And I come over here and fool around from time to time. If I go red, I have a J-11. If I go blue, I have pretty much everything else. So if I go, uh, what would be fun? F-18. This guy's sitting on the ground, ready to go. This is the Tonopah map. Up, up, and away. Brought the gear up. One, one, one. Passing waypoint two at fifteen thousand. And then there's a bunch of stuff over here, and I've got some rockets armed, and I can just come over here and shoot things to my heart's content. Of course, these guys shoot back, so rockets aren't the best suited weapon for this. This is more of a uh, cluster bomb area here. That's a nice little area. Look at them scurrying around now because they know there's trouble coming. But that's my own little test range that you can do. And you can create your own stuff, you know. The map is huge, so there's a lot to be had here. So that is the uh, Nevada NTTR Nevada Test and Training Range map for DCS World. I believe it's 50 bucks. 
uh, when it's on sale it's like 25 bucks definitely worth the price of admission at either point in time and uh, that's pretty much it man just wanted to go over that and, and show you what you get with it and uh, it is the only other map for DCS world that you can purchase campaigns for there are no Persian golf map campaigns right now for the Persian golf map uh, I think there's some in the works Raven one or something like that uh, some people are working on some but there are no official campaigns that you can purchase for um, Persian Golf. Nevada has the most I think. The second most is uh, Normandy has about four or five different campaigns for the Warbirds that you could purchase for the Normandy map but uh, unfortunately Persian Golf has none at the moment that I'm aware of and uh, that you can purchase and um, Nevada is it so that's the one if you want to add some more content and you're tired of looking at the Black Sea default map uh, this is definitely a great place to start so as always thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel feel free to hit that like button and until next time guys